Hey everyone, Mike Rondo. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. This, I don't know, this is, you know, just Happy Holidays. Um, apologies for not doing a video in a little while again, because we just had new windows put in, so that took two days, Monday, Tuesday, and then I've been doing other days, and hopefully everyone's staying as warm as possible uh, and as, as comfortable as possible. Now, a lot of you might know that I want to move to Montana or Wyoming, uh, Utah, <laughs> Northern Arizona, Colorado, you know, somewhere out west, mid mountain range, west, whatever. And I've seen some videos where it's minus uh, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at that point. I've seen people with their windows inside, speaking of windows, they're peeling ice off of it, chipping ice off of their windows. There's ice on their headboards, uh, blizzard conditions. It, you know, and I got a friend in Buffalo, they, they're getting more snow, it's cold. Uh, here in the east, we woke up to a lot of rain and a lot of wind. Um, not too bad. However, we're supposed to get a flash freeze around 5 o'clock. So I'm in the shed early. It's uh, 54 degrees, which is nice and comfortable in the shed. Not bad, uh, though you may hear the crackling fire and the fireplace going just for ambiance. The Christmas tree is lit, obviously. And I forgot to do the... the uh, leg lamp lights but oh well such is life i do got the bed, red rider bb gun up there so uh but anyway get to the video um before i do that there was one gentleman he and his wife kind of made a comment on my video for the idaho four uh murders uh which is and i just want to say to them that's typically not a video that i do on this channel um but i i do agree with them my thoughts were all over the place on that video uh and that's mostly because i had an issue with my microphone uh, I don't know what happened earlier. I, I was recording. That was actually the second recording of that video. The one I did earlier, I was going doing the recording and then the audio dropped. I didn't see my levels, a microphone levels on the video screen here, which I'm looking at right now. And I had to redo it. So I was concerned about that. You know, one thing about like when you podcast or co create content or something and your audio kind of takes a nose, you panic over that. You're kind of like, oh, crap. Uh, so I was, my thoughts, I had it, it's funny because I, earlier that morning I'd rehearsed it in my head of what I was going to say and how I was going to present it and all that. And then it just kind of went everywhere. I almost didn't release that video, but I felt the need to do it. But anyway, today we're doing, uh, Sutliff North Pole Peppermint Mocha. That's a mouthful, uh, for this, this whole, uh, review here. So we'll see. I bought this a while back. This was supposed to be the first, uh, tobacco for Christmas I was going to review and I didn't do too many reviews at all um, but I'll get into that in a minute but let's let's pop the bag open and get a smell well this is <laughs> reminds me of a peppermint patty not as strong as a peppermint patty but more like a Girl Scout cookie, but not as strong, and this is pretty moist. Um, give you guys a look at it if you can see. Um, pretty good moisture. It's probably a little more damp than you'd want to smoke, but hey, I got to do a review, and uh, I don't have time for that. But the smell is good. The bag note here, pretty good. I like it. I got high hopes right now. I wouldn't say high hopes. I got, I got, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I'm looking forward to smoking this one. I think the last couple have been kind of subpar. Um, but anyway, I am smoking, and I forgot I had this pipe. Uh, last year's Savinelli Christmas pipe. Uh, that's what I'll be smoking in tonight. Uh, and I love this green stem. I'm not sure if you guys can see it that well on the camera, um, but this is an excellent pipe. I forgot I had it. <laughs> a little this up, yeah. This is a little too, a little too damp for my liking, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna roll, get this review done. And uh, also, while I'm at it. Last, uh, earlier this week, I think it was early this week, last weekend, I stumbled upon 
one of my favorite YouTube channels is back. Limited, which is Redcoat's Return. He went back to that name, thankfully, because he really is returning. Redcoat's Return uh, was Redcoat's Renaissance. Uh, now he's Redcoat's Return, and I'm so happy to see him back. Um, I absolutely enjoy He's a fellow shedder, as he likes to call, call us. Uh, he's part of the shed squadron of us pipe smokers, and it's great to see him back. Now, limited run, kind of like me. I've actually taken a step back and, and doing all these videos. I'm thinking of other things and whatnot. It's not that I don't want to do this anymore. I do love doing this and stuff. And I got more news I can talk about probably in the upcoming week. Uh, I'll discuss some things that I've kind of been hemming and whoring about over the uh, you know podcasting and stuff like that. So I'll, I'll get into that. But let's light this up. big flame on this one um but yeah so happy to see him back it's a treat uh he uploaded another video i gotta i gotta watch that video after i do this video uh he's in the shed of shangri-la which i absolutely am envious of that shed it's such a beautiful shed but anyway uh but yeah i've uh i myself this year have cut back on the videos and that started around june when we had the driveway redone put the wall up the million dollar patio the fence all these things, and I kind of took a, took a step back to uh, relax a little. I was cranking out a lot of videos, and I didn't want to get burned out like I did with podcasting, so I kind of toned it down a bit. Um, and I actually, the channel kind of grew more, which is surprising to me. I'm very surprised that I'm over uh, a thousand subscribers now. That's that still baffles me because um, this is like Seinfeld. This is a a channel that's much to do about nothing. I mean, tobacco pipes, yes, and and tobacco, but. For the most part, just kind of relaxing and uh, just me rambling, I guess. And I gotta adjust this flame. Hmm. Okay. So this is the first, I believe, <laughs> mint. Pipe tobacco, or mint flavored, if you will. And I'm getting... Let me see if I can lower this. Nope, that's, def that's raising it. There we go, that's a little better. This is one of those lighters... This is interesting. Anyway, back to I'll get to that in a second. This lighter has it reminds me of my uh, my cigar lighter, which I have. Oh, right here, it's right here. This one here, being butane, it does it does not like the cold at all. Uh, and this one too. And for some reason, this one here, you have to crank it up when the temp. And of course, it's it's comfortable today. But as you saw, I had a long flame. But uh, when it was cold in here, like last week. And whatnot, you got to crank it up, which is why the setting was so high because you're just not going to get much of a flame. Um, not like the old <laughs> old reliable Zippos here, but the only problem with them is you know they dry out pretty quick. Now this this is a very unique. Because what I'm getting, I wouldn't say I'm getting like a, this is just a weird sensation. It's like a, out of all the tobaccos I smoke, I get like that, you, you can tell I smoke the tobacco kind of thing. And it's not bad, but you can tell this, and it kind of reminds me of menthol cigarettes, but not like that at all. Not as strong, not as um, obvious, I guess you could say. This just gives you this. This is going to sound weird. But like a just brushed your teeth kind of mint kind of flavor. Or a mint that like, you know the hard candies that you suck on? The striped ones or the green or the red ones? Kind of like that, but not... Like you don't get the f flavor of mint. You, you just feel like your mouth is not... 
Like you don't have to brush your teeth after you smoke a, a tobacco pipe kind of thing. I don't know, this is very weird and unique. That's what's standing out at me the most. Uh, other than that, so far it's just... Uh, I'd say there's a kind of like a cocoa, vanilla, smoke note going there. But I'm just blown away by the, the clean feeling I have in my mouth. It's the weirdest thing. I gotta be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like this at all. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be <laughs> garbage. But the, it, one thing that surprises me about Sutliff is it always comes like pretty, I wouldn't call it sopping wet or moist, more than, you know, it's one of those things where you'd want it to dry out for 10, uh, 10 15, 20 minutes kind of thing, or even an hour, if you, if you will. Uh, you just take it out, Go do something, come back, and then smoke your pipe. Um, but I have to say, doing these reviews with Sutliff, and you pack the pipe, you light it when it's still pretty damp, you can feel a little bit of film on your, your hands there. It lights pretty good, I gotta I got say. I'm, I mean, you gotta light it a little bit more, but it's not, not bad, it's surprising. I think Cornell and Deal is just perfect when you open the tin. Um, Hmm. See, now this reminds me. Try that again. I want to say, like, Girl Scout cookie, kind of. Yeah, Thin Mint kind of aroma. Not strong though, just you have to kind of like get your nose into it. Of course, this being damp like this might be hindering the smoke note. Um, but I do recommend getting this for Christmas. This is great for Christmas to New Year's kind of blend to have. Um, dare I say this is one that you could sneak if you were on a date at a Christmas party, you know, you wanted to go out and have a pipe. Uh, you could have this and you could give your significant other or whoever you're with a kiss and you wouldn't get that tobacco, you know, cigar type breath uh, or anything like that because it's very pleasant and it smells good in your beard. I think it's got a good beard note. This is a pleasant surprise at the end of the year here. Hmm. So I'm not sure I did my the Idaho murder um, mystery and I did my book review. I'm not sure I'm going to do a lot of that because I'm not sure this channel really likes that. Obviously, the this is known for t tobacco pipes and pipe smoking and kind of just me rant, not ranting, but just talking about whatever. Those so t subjects, eh, hard to say. The books, maybe. Because pipes and books go, but the murder stuff. Hmm. 
might be too heavy for uh, this audience. Not only that, the one thing I noticed about with this Idaho case, you know, I belong to one of the the groups, and you might as well just change the name of that to jump to, to conclusions uh, page because everyone is just throwing things around. And it's like I don't want to add more to that, so I might not speak of that for a while, uh, so to speak. I don't want to add to the nonsense, if you will. But tomorrow's Christmas, so I hope you guys all have a good day. Well, whatever you celebrate, whatever you do, hope you enjoy the time off. Hmm, this is... You know, I think the taste I get in my mouth, like that clean taste, compared to every other tobacco I've smoked, stands out more than the actual like tobacco. Like that's this will be interesting to do a second time around. And to let this dry out a little bit more. Now do I do a second time around next week or do I wait till next year to do it? I don't know. We'll see. I will say this. Christmas cookie from Boswell is still I think my number one Christmas blend. But this, I'm surprised. What did they say on the reviews, tobacco reviews? All right, so, yeah, I don't get any mocha, by the way. I don't get, uh, I get the peppermint, uh, the chocolate, and, like, chocolate, mint, I get... It says coca and vanilla, eh, slightly, but not much. I don't really get that. I get more of the mint, more mint to chocolate than chocolate to mint, if that makes any sense to anybody. Probably not. Um, well, it says here, just a hint of refreshing mint for a delightful room note uh, and a flavor profile that pairs perfectly with the holidays. I would agree with that assessment on their little description here. Uh, so we got dark burly... Virginia's in a ribbon cut, uh, blended with uh, chocolate, cocoa, sweet vanilla, and just a hint of the, of the uh, just, I would say, it's the perfect hint of mint, to be honest. Um, so Black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. Obviously an aromatic. Let's see what Jim, Jim, uh, Jim Links says here. He gives it uh, three stars out of four. So he says very strong for strength. Mm. Flavoring? I don't think it's uh Again, this is wet and damp still, so maybe maybe not. But again, I'm getting blown. So what was the overall ranking? Is this the 3.3? Uh out of four stars, I would go with 3.6 on my holiday blend scale. Like, I wouldn't... Obviously, I wouldn't... Well, you never know. I could smoke this whenever the hell I want, right? It's free country, as far as I know. Uh, I could smoke this in July, if I really wanted to. Christmas in July, right? Why not? Hmm. I don't know if you can get this now. I'm not sure. Now, see? I'm getting a little bit of a... Slight hint of a chemical test, which with an aromatic, not shocking, but it seems to be more Cavendish-ish than chemical-ish. Let me see if I can... Well, anyway, as I was saying, I don't think you can... You might be able to get this at this time. I'm not sure. I mean, you should get some. Uh, I'll probably order more myself just to have the you know, Christmas stash. Uh, 
you can probably get it and save it for next year. Try it next year. Let me know what you think. Or if you had it, let me know what you guys think. I love hearing your feedback, uh, which is always good. And there was a gentleman, and I laughed when I saw it. He, No harm. I didn't take it as him being um, malicious or mean or anything about it. But I, I think he... And I get it because when people pronounce things and they do it wrong, you kind of roll your eyes. I get it. And I am horrible at pronouncing things. And, uh, well, if you watch the channel the last few years, you know there's a particular Christmas blend that I always butcher the name and I always feel bad for it. I know I'm doing it wrong. Everybody knows I'm doing it wrong. Uh, and sometimes people feel the need to correct me. And maybe I'll pronounce it right one day. And I hope I can. But anyway. I thought it was funny. I laughed because it was an older video. It was like from almost two years ago, I think. But it's nice to get feedback from videos I did two years ago. Anyway, that's going to do it for uh, this video. Um, I don't think I'll have a video on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve, although I'd like to do that. It's going to be pretty cold in the shed. So I don't, and plus with family over tomorrow, so I don't think I'll get the chance to do that. But you never know. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I will be doing videos next week because, you know, things are winding down. i got to return to work, unfortunately, but I don't have to go back till Tuesday and then it's a short week. But, you know, I really don't want to go back, to be honest. But in any case, I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a great Christmas. Have a great holiday. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy being around your family, um, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Thank you.